Hi, welcome to Making All the Plans. I'm Connie, and if we haven't met before, I'm a busy mom of two active kids, and both my husband and I have full-time careers. My goal is to share with you how I stay on top of all life throws at me in one planner so that you might be able to do the same. So this is the same setup as last week. I am going to go ahead and hole punch it, but it is just my faith page followed by the HB90 planner system. And I did just finish that course recently, and so far I'm loving it. It's only been a week, but I'm really enjoying the process. And I'm really liking that I have a weekly overview, and then I can go in and plan each day individually. And I did go ahead and just grab some Planner Kate stickers. If I can find these exact ones, I will link them down below. Otherwise, I will just link to her site. But I decided to go ahead and pull some washi tapes that coordinated with these stickers. I'm really trying to find the best way to incorporate stickers into this new planner system. I also have a few old stickers from Passion Planner that were gifted to me because a friend of mine did not use them. But I'm really loving these Planner Kate stickers and especially that floral. So we'll see if I can incorporate those into this planner. And after starting with the weekly layout last week, I did decide that it would be better to start with the tasks instead of the weekly layout. So I am going to go ahead and write in my three big goals for this quarter. And I don't necessarily want to write these out every week. So I'm just going to generally put making all the plans, personal, and home. And then I'm going to take these goals and break them down into the tasks that I need to complete this week in order to meet my goals. So for making all the plans, I am working on increasing my number of subscribers. And in order to do that, I feel that I need to post more frequently and consistently on YouTube, as well as work some more on my Instagram to bring more subscribers in from there as well. And I did decide to use these little boxes from Planner Kate, and it is going to be a little bit time consuming, but I really like the pops of color that are brought in, and I don't usually use them, so I wanted to just use what I had. I could have drawn them in, I could have not put them in at all, but I really wanted to use what I had, so I am going to cut these apart and use them. So right now I'm just writing down all of the videos that I want to work on this week. And then again, I'm going to use those little check boxes to denote whether or not they are done. And this is going to be a longer video. I will try to put chapters in so that you can jump ahead, but I'm never quite sure how much I should take out and how much I should leave in. So I am going to try to just leave in as much as possible today and again, put in some chapters. So if you get sick of watching me write in my tasks, you can skip ahead to the next chapter. But if you're planning along with me, I like watching videos that are longer when I'm trying to get a longer task done and I like body doubling. So if that's something that you like, then go ahead and just watch this through. Also, there isn't a ton of videos out there on the HB90 system. And this is by Heart Breathings and Sarah is great. And I really liked her videos introducing us to the HB90 system that she created. So if you're interested in HB90, then I will also link her Heart Breathings website down below as well as her YouTube channel. But this is my second week into the program and I am really liking it. I may end up tweaking it here and there, but right now I'm using it, I think, as she designed it to be used. So hopefully this will do her system justice. But right now I'm doing my personal goal and really my personal goal is about getting healthier. It's not a specific number on the scale, but I felt good when I was eating well and exercising. And I'm finally healthy. My gallbladder's out, my foot is healed, all the things I shouldn't 
but anything else stop me anymore, I guess I should say. So I do want to weigh in every Monday just to track that. I want to start running and I'm trying to run three days a week. I haven't started yet, but I'm hoping to start to incorporate that more now that it's getting warmer outside. I will run on the treadmill, but it's not my favorite thing. I'd prefer to run outside. And then I want to do five days of strength training, one day of yoga. And then really the thing that I judge my healthiness on is closing my rings. If I close my rings on my Apple Watch, I can see the numbers drop on the scale. So those two are very correlated. And right now my activity level is a little bit lower than what I would normally have it set at. But I'm trying to set myself up for success and kind of ease into it. And I feel like I've been doing a good job of that. So I don't want to go overboard. And if I don't get all of the running and strengths done this week, that's okay. I'm just hoping that by the end of the quarter, this is just part of my daily routine and I am working out at those times that I have planned. So my home goal for this quarter is to get all the things done that I want to get done and that my son needs to get done in order to be able to drive. And I did pull my HB90 notebook out. My son did finish his online classes and I did schedule his in-cars for him. He did complete one in-car already and he has three more to go and they are all this week. So I am just taking a moment to look over all of my projects and the tasks that I need to do to move towards those goals. But really, these are what I can accomplish in the time blocks that I have available this week. So I don't want to overdo it. The other few things that I forgot to put on my making all the plans list was um, I'm taking a course. So I put research and development and whatever the next module is. I think I'm on module three. Um, but that as well as moderating comments and answering comments and questions and things like that. I like to try to do those three times a week. So I did go ahead and put those down on my task list because even though they are routine and they are just part of my admin, they do still take time and time blocks. So that is part of this system is trying to guesstimate how much time each task is going to take and then making sure that you stay within the time blocks that you have allotted for the week, if that makes sense. Sarah does a much better job of explaining her system, but I really want to share what I am working with this week, and I like to share things that are successful. So last week, I felt like I was super productive and honest with myself about what I could accomplish. So I thought it was a very productive and successful week, and I'm hoping that the same is true this week. And even though this is a very functional planner system, I do like to put a little bit of decor on the page. So I don't want to go crazy here. I don't look at this a ton once I move these tasks over. I just come back maybe once a day. I'm, it's not like I'm staring at it all the time. So I want to put a little decor here, but again, I'm just not going to go crazy on this page. So I really like the left-hand page, this task list. This right page, I'm still working on how best to break up my projects and tasks without rewriting every single one down here. So like I said, I'm not sure I could tweak things soon, but I really am trying to use it as it's intended before I go making changes. So I thought I could do all the YouTube group together, my tax stuff group together, my Instagram, my research and development, and then admin type of stuff. And originally I wrote admin third, and I meant to write it at the bottom, but I started confusing myself. So I will go back and change admin to Instagram. But other than that, it will stay like that. I also am trying to estimate how many time blocks each of these groups of tasks are going to take. And I struggled because some videos take much longer than others. And honestly, some of the ones that I have set to record this week and edit this week, they'll take longer than normal because they're not just those top-down shots like this here. 
And then I pulled out my HB90 kind of overview of the quarter. And I realized that I only have 30 task blocks that I have time for. And this adds up to be 46. So something's going to have to give. I'm not exactly sure what it is yet, but something will have to give. It will probably either be my professional development type of stuff, or I won't spend as much time on Instagram or something along those lines. So we'll just have to play around and see how far we get. I also don't want to take anything off my list because I'm not the best at estimating my time yet. So I do want to leave everything there and then just see how long things take me. Next, I'm going to move on to the weekly. I definitely want to use some of these pretty boxes from Planner Kate. So I'm going to use this bigger one up at the top so that I can write in the date. And then I'm going to use three of the smaller boxes for those three sections over there. I did modify this part already from the HB90 system. I can't remember what was there. I know one of them was trackers and I don't do trackers very well, but I love to have a section for my meal plans. I love to have a section for errands. And then this particular week, I am also putting in a section for contacting. And I did not get all the things done that I wanted to get done last week in terms of the contacts that I needed to make because a lot ended up getting added to my to-do list. I did write a recommendation for someone and it took, you know, about an hour and a half or so. So At that time, I would have been making phone calls and writing other emails. I was writing a recommendation, which I'm very happy to do. It just wasn't something that I was necessarily expecting to do. And then I also was writing up some resources for someone who their child is also having similar struggles in school that my child did around that same age. So I wanted to write up some resources for her. So Not everything that I had planned to get done last week got done, so I want to make sure that I have the space to carry it over to this week. I'm also a huge fan of either dot grid or lines, and this sidebar does not have any dots, whereas the rest of the planner pretty much does. So I am going to take some time and write in some lines, and I will link these stencils down below as well. They are from Chrissyann Designs on Etsy. And I do have a variety of her stencils. She has a variety of widths between her lines. There's a five millimeter, a six millimeter, a seven millimeter, and a quarter of an inch. And I prefer them closer together. Otherwise, I could have used the Happy Planner ones. The Happy Planners are more than a quarter of an inch apart. And that was too far apart for me. So now using my ideal week from HB90 and how I had all my task blocks laid out, I am going to move that into my weekly for this week and incorporate all my other tasks and appointments and all those things that are already on the calendar that I have to schedule around. So the first thing that I do is write in times down the left hand side. I do that on Monday and Thursday as well. And this just helps me have a better visual representation of how many time blocks I actually have each day to spend on each area. I also learned that it is just as fast to use a ruler as it is to draw a free-handed line. So I do decide to use a ruler. My free-handed lines were very wobbly and I'm super shaky today for some reason. So I am just pulling out the ruler and we're going to go with that today. I also have my Google Calendar up to my right and I do have that HB90 like ideal week laid out on my left hand side so I can kind of compare and shift things as necessary. This is going to take a long time. There is so much going on this week that doesn't normally happen in a normal week. So I am a little panicked. I do realize that I have to take some time off of work this week in order to fit all of my kids' things in, but it will be okay. It's just a little overwhelming. So the purple is my kids' activities, 
And for the most part, I will be at all of them except for my daughter's track practices. She is currently not even running, but she still goes to practice. So unless my husband needs me to pick her up from practice, that is the only time I interact with track, thankfully. But Monday, my son has an in-car and it's an hour away. The in-car is two hours and then it's an hour home. So that takes a big chunk of time. I do work or exercise or something while he is doing his in-cars, but it is still a chunk of time that I need to account for. My kids are off school on Monday as well for the eclipse, so I went ahead and put that in. Both of my kids have doctor's appointments on Tuesday. My daughter has physical therapy for her ankle, and my son just has a well visit and sports physical that needs to be done. And I forgot about my son's doctor's appointment until I got a text reminder for it, so thank goodness for text reminders. I do normally go into the office on Tuesday. So that is the peach is my work, but as you can see, there isn't going to be a lot of peach on Monday and Tuesday. Again, I could probably do some work Monday while I'm waiting for him to do some end cars that I'm still trying to figure out what needs to be done when, but I probably will do my work work during the end cars on Monday. Tuesday, I will take some sick leave because there's just no way I can make up that amount of time between Monday and Tuesday the rest of the week, given how crazy the rest of the week is. But I do have two meetings on Tuesday, so I will probably go into the office just so I can have those meetings in person and then come home as normal. So I feel like I'm jumping all around. I should just work through Monday and then Tuesday, etc., etc. But now I'm jumping back to Monday and putting in my son's soccer practice and soccer training. So they have practice for an hour and a half, and then they have a half an hour to get from one field to another field, and then they have some additional training, which is new. So I still need to block off that time because he can't drive himself yet, which I'm okay with. But again, it's just more time that I need to take into consideration as I plan out my week. And I realize that you can't necessarily see what I am writing in that darker purple highlighter, but I can see it. So I just want to make sure that I leave room in those spaces where I'm not actively participating in their items that I have room to put my own things. Now, I'm not going to do that until probably the day of, but that way I can shift anything that I need to shift to those quote unquote open spots. So then my son has soccer again on Wednesday evening. So I will go ahead and put that in. Thankfully on Monday and Wednesday, not always, but frequently I am home. I go into the office most Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then I work at home most Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So now I'm trying to do a little bit of back planning and figure out when I'm going to work out in the mornings, like how early I need to get up and when my morning routine is going to take place and if I can squeeze any household tasks into my morning routine, which I try to do at least three days a week, but I don't think it's going to happen this week. When I looked at my calendar when we started this project today, I was a little bit in shock of how much just odd things are happening this week. The eclipse on Monday, three of my son's end cars are this week. My daughter has physical therapy twice. My son has a doctor's appointment. They threw in those two extra soccer trainings. Of course, my daughter has track this week and she'll need picked up from those. And then my son's soccer game this week. So there's just a lot happening that we're just not used to doing, I guess, because there have been other weeks that are this crazy, but it's just feeling like a lot is happening in one week. So the blue denotes workouts that I'm planning. The gray is routines. So in the morning, there'll be a morning routine. And then I tried to put an evening routine in as well. Like I said, the peach is work related. So it looks like on Wednesday, I will be able to pretty much work a full day, which look at that one whole day. <laughs> but 
I'll just have to flex some things around and move some work into the in-car areas to make some of those work. And then, like I said, take a little bit of sick leave on Tuesday. But that's why I like to plan out my week a little bit in advance so that I know I either need to let people at work know that I won't be there, put in my sick leave, things like that. And so that if for some reason I couldn't do something that particular week, like if I had an important meeting, I could talk to my husband about him taking somebody to the doctor or picking them up from practice or whatnot. So this particular week, it took me a little over an hour just to lay out this time blocking for the week. And it was a struggle. So I did end up taking a break. And then I decided that I would just lay on the couch and try and figure it all out and lay it all out. So I'm going to take a little pause here and come back with the full week time blocked out. I will go ahead and drop in a little clip here of me sitting on the couch in my jammies finishing up. But as you can see, I have everything color coded. I know that blue is workout, gray is routine, purple is kid stuff, peach is work, pink is making all the plans, that hash stuff is driving time. I do have my son's three in cars put in, which is my home goal tasks for this week. And then I want to drop in a little sticker for the eclipse because I would like to pop outside and take a look at it. And then I'm going to just fill in those boxes over on the sidebar before I move on to putting my tasks in at the bottom of the page. So the thing that didn't work for me last week was that I was planning out my days, but I wasn't sure what days I was thinking I would get each task done. So I do want to put all my making all the plans tasks down below the bottom of the schedule for each day. And then I may or may not get them done on those specific days, but that's what I'm planning on getting them done. And that way, when I go to plan out my day, I already have a rough draft of what I'm thinking I want to do. So what I'm going to do is take those tasks that I had laid out earlier, and then I'm going to schedule them in for the different days. So when I do a YouTube video, I need to script it. I need to video it. I need to upload it. I need to make a thumbnail for it. I need to edit it. I need to like schedule the post, things like that. So I do group these together somewhat. So I don't have to write every single little task down, but I do break it up a little bit because I cannot get a whole video done in one day just based upon the time it takes to move videos from my phone to my computer and then edit. It just the middle steps take time. So it's much better if I video it one day and then let everything sync and then edit it the next day if I do have the time to do that. I am trying to do a little bit heavier of a guesstimate early in the week and try to push myself to get things done, but I'm also trying to be realistic with the time that I do have. So on Monday, I only have those two or three task blocks depending on what time I go to bed. And I do have a lot of tasks written down, but some of it I'm hoping that I can get done during my morning routine. So I'm hoping to get an Insta post done, which I haven't even written down yet, but I would like to get an Insta post done during my morning routine or some time early in the morning and then work from there. But I also have that block during the day when my son is doing his in cars. So whether I do a little making all the plan stuff or I do work stuff, or I exercise, or run, or walk, or whatever, but there's quite a bit of that purple where I'm not really doing anything, so I can schedule in my work, my making all the plans, and possibly some exercise depending on the weather. So I do have a lot of YouTube type things that I want to get done this week. We'll see if I can actually get it all done. 
I don't want to keep crossing off the Instagram items every week. I feel like I keep pushing those to the bottom of the pile of things that need done and then they never end up getting done and I never prioritize Instagram and I really feel like I should be. So I am going to try to push myself to bring that to the top of the pile at some point this week. I do also want to make sure that I don't just keep crossing off my exercise. I did that this week because I was catching up on my sleep from last week. But right now I'm just running through and making sure that everything that I have on my task list is roughed out here on my tasks down at the bottom of the page. And like I said, I just wanted to have a general idea when these things were going to get completed. I did end up leaving off that research and development piece for this week. It just, it really is a crazy week. Uh, something's got to give. So that is going to just go by the wayside this week. That would normally take me probably between an hour and three hours, depending on how long the module was. The other thing that is not getting put in is any routine maintenance or anything beyond the must get done items for my house. So our house probably is not getting cleaned this week. It'll probably be groceries and meals and just the very basic items. So let's go ahead and get my faith page decorated just a little bit so that it just invites me in to my spreads. I will drop a few more stickers in on the weekly spread as well. I really like the Planner Kate stickers, even though I don't use a lot of those icons. And then there are some icons that say like work at home, and there's only one of them where I need three of them this week. So I don't quite understand how to use those. I might have some other Planner Kate sheets that I could use them from, but Again, I'm not exactly sure how to incorporate those when it's not a one-time thing, if that makes sense. So the only thing that I'm missing is a quote. So I will end up grabbing my essential quote sticker book from Happy Planner so that I can drop a quote in on the planner page. But I really like these tiny icons. I'm thinking about making some of my own just little soccer balls, little track feet. And, um, I was going to do little cars for my, the end cars, but since those are going to be done at the end of this week, I probably won't do the cars, but I do like just the little icons and how they add a, just a little bit extra to the spread. And I would like to drop some in on my monthly spreads for track meets and soccer games maybe even a birthday cake for birthdays, but I'm not going to go crazy. So let's go back to the faith page and I'm going to just drop in some of these rectangular images and then I will find a quote that I can layer over top of them. I do find a couple other quotes that I can use in the essential quote sticker book and I ended up just picking them based upon the color scheme. Um, this blue circle one just says spread some happy today. The yellow one just says joy. And then the one that I layer over the other two boxes says a beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. And then I just have a few other tweaks that I would like to make throughout the planner. I did think about putting some more washi tape on the faith page, but then I decided against it partially because I wanted to use that yellow, but it's awfully bright. I did use it here on my weekly spread. And again, it is pretty bright, but I don't mind it here just because there are so many colors already going on on this page. That's one of the parts about the highlighters. I might struggle if I'm trying to do like a black or white or a black and white theme, but for now, this highlighting is really helping me visualize how much time I have for each area of my life. I am not going to do anything with my daily pages at this point. 
on Sunday evening, I will plan Monday, Monday at night, I will plan Tuesday, etc. And then there is a reflection page at the end. I am going to make a note to myself that I want to incorporate the home routine items as well as the weekly home blessing items in my planner next week. They will have to be a priority, at least the weekly home blessing, like the cleaning of the house will have to be a priority next week. But I do just want to make a note that I want to include that next week. And then of course I have the blank notes page. But this is the planner for the week. I hope that you stuck around. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive week. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.